What is the realistic life expectancy and quality of life for those with high risk multiple myeloma? And how should I balance planning for bucket list trips with caution about remote travel destinations? Typically, we define high risk multiple myeloma as someone who has certain features that we know tend to speak to the disease growing a bit more quickly. And historically, um, the prognosis of high-risk myeloma was quite poor, to be very honest, where patients were not typically expected to live more than two years. But we all know that has changed considerably. It's hard to give an exact prognosis without knowing the details of every individual case. But as we'll discuss when we answer these questions, we have come a long way in finding new treatments and finding better treatments for patients with high-risk multiple myeloma. But your question focuses it on something very important, that when we treat patients, not just about quantity of life, it's quality of life. And we want them to have the opportunity to fulfill their bucket list. And I encourage all of my patients to have a bucket list, whether they have high-risk myeloma or standard-risk myeloma, and to work through that bucket. Because every day is a gift, and every day is an opportunity to enjoy the life that we have been given.